So I'm just going to do some, some testing before we apply it on the... Oh man, it's already... Oh, it's hard already. Okay, so it works. We're good. Way too much. Oh man. Too much, too much harder? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, time for Bondo! Any side, pick a side, any side. So as you can see, this bumper is sanded down with these guys here. Some air tools. You know guys, interesting fact. I actually did some Bondo work. Must have been like 13, 14 years ago once. And so did Lucas about the same 15, 15 years ago. So was it 15? Man, this thing is... So 28? No. Is it? 20 years? Yeah. So... Done. Dude, this thing won't, what? won't work. Your bundle is not working. How Re long does that thing been sitting on your, your shelf? Uh, thir 13 years? There you go. This is... Crazy. Well, yours has been sitting for 15 years, so... And I'm taking it off. What? Nice. So I guess our 27 years of experience. 28? 28? Yeah, 15. Oh yeah, 20 years. Excuse yeah. me. Our 28 years of experience is not helping over here. Too much what? Hardener. You said too much? Across? Or yeah, the, that's, the, or the bundle. That's what I thought. It, don't they just? No. You know, do the bundle just just run a line of hardener across the amount that you have? Depends on the bundle. Depends on the day. If it's hot. Well, day. it is humid and hot. It is actually it's almost ninety in here, man. Oh man. And it's humid as hell too. Oh yeah, we did clean it with a stone. Really? Yeah, this really is about well old. We did throw some old ones. Old cans out. This is just hard as rock without the hardener, or it's like rubber, I should say. I'm gonna try and mix it again, and we'll be back. Second mix, less hardener. Remember, we don't know what we're doing. No, it seems better. What are you talking about? We have 28 years experience in this field, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting. Wonder why. Uh, easy, thin. Thin film. Nice. We're gonna ignore the bottom. You know, who looks under the bottom? Nobody. Unless you're Lucas. Try not get in the corner there. Uh oh, yeah, it's creamy already. Oh, you just messed it up over here, man. That's it? You're Well, we can always wait for it to dry, send down the high spots, and redo it. Redo the bundle again. There, you got a pinhole here. Hold Just on. Fill it in, man. Fill it in. <laughs> Did you take it? Oh, there's a, an air trapped into it. In it. If there's a professional body man out there watching this... He's <laughs> scratching his head. Sorry, man. <laughs> this is the thin stuff? The thin bundle or the regular? I don't know. You're looking at the, the brake pads? Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to figure this out. I think on the box it said fine. It's not fine, definitely. It's coming like shit. Good thing you're wearing your mask. Why? Yeah, we have to come back here and fix this. Mm -hmm. I ha I think I have the, the the cheese grater thing to get the the thick stuff off. What do you have? You know what I'm talking about. It's to get the you know the bumpy stuff off first and then send it. This thing. Take two. Okay, the, the one thing that I know is that you don't want to get any bubbles in here. I'm sure, I mean, I can see I have plenty. Is to not mix it around, but to kind of squish it. That's that knowledge from that secret book you, you, you almost, yeah, almost finished. 
I did read a book about body work and stuff, but that was 13 years ago. Man, I'm way too much. Man, it's supposed to be thin. I know. What am I doing? Hey guys, what you've been watching, that happened about, I'd say maybe eight months ago or so. It was, it was hot. Now it's cold, winter time, February. Anyways, lost that footage, so don't know where it went, no idea. What we've done was uh, basically added too much hardener the first time, dried up too quickly, and as every single batch we mixed we added less and less hardener until it, it was not enough <laughs> and uh, the the last batch or bundle once it was on the bumper it took like two to three months to dry it was it was rubbery to the touch anyways we kind of ignored that and just sanded it down and eventually painted it and that's what's next and that's another disaster that's i mean the whole bumper we're, we're gonna we're painting the whole car well not the whole car the hood the fenders the uh, rear bumper parts of the doors and stuff remember the car needs to uh, be color matched throughout to pass the inspection so yeah look what i'm doing now some of you may know the famous Hemi tick in the 5.7 Dodge Ram engines. Look at this, one of these, this lifter collapsed. Check this out. This one spins, this one's good. And this one does not spin. Look at this. This is good. This is bad. You see that? And this guy was eating this cam. Look at this. This cam lobe is supposed to be as high as this. It is just actually this way. So about this high. Look how much of the metal at eight. All the rest of them are good. Just this one. I mean, this is a mess over here. Got done with one of the heads today. Still got to do the other side. This is the timing cover is done. What a mess. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for the paint job because it is a total disaster. But we've done it, kind of, kind of a spoiler alert. I did make two new purchases, which is gonna kind of you know help out with the racing events and stuff. So as always, subscribe, like, dislike. See you next time.